In my last video, I endorsed Ben Shapiro for president in 2024. But this is my 100th video, and I want to explain why I support Mr. Shapiro for president in 2024. In order to do so, I have compiled a list of 10 reasons I support him, which I will read now. Shapiro supports capitalism in a moral sense. That is to say that capitalism is moral because it is voluntary and because it means only you have a right to keep the products of your own labor. Shapiro also says that if I have to sell something to you, I can do it at any price, and you can say yes or no. Voluntary. Freedom. And I agree with that. Number two, Shapiro, Shapiro opposes corporate welfare, arguing that, of course, bid businesses don't have a right to take our money. He has also argued that the term crony capitalism is misleading for such a thing because it is more just socialism for the rich. I agree with that too. Number three, Shapiro supports an extraordinarily low, flat individual income tax, which I agree with. Number four, Shapiro has been critical of the transgender movement, arguing it's not in the mind, and that if there's a boy who thinks he's a girl, he should seek mental health, as opposed to doing the other way and having a medical procedure. Number five, Shapiro believes that straight marriage should be subsidized, but that gay marriage should not. And I agree, because straight marriage leads to traditional family and kids, and thus is helpful in creating the next generation, which the business, which the government theoretically has an interest to. Whereas gay marriage does not. He also says because he's a live and live libertarian, he's okay with that. On a political level, it should be allowed. I agree. Number six, Shapiro believes the country should be able to control its immigration system, which just means borders. So yes, I do support that. Number seven, Shapiro is pro-life. Number eight, Shapiro does not support affirmative action or identity politics of any form. He is an individualist. Number nine, Shapiro believes the president has a duty to natural defense and to enforce the laws, but not much more. Agreed. Number ten, ranging from thug life videos, appearances on Fox News, and destroying Pierce Morgan. He's just a pretty cool dude. Finally, for the record, if they were born in the U.S., I would also support Crowder, Milo, or even Jordan Peterson, but they weren't, so they can't run for president. Thank you.